the recovery in the hedge fund business continues to move along pretty nicely. Uh, we're seeing some investors looking to invest more assets into hedge funds. New hedge funds are coming on stream. There's talk of some consolidation in the business. So things are really improving after the 2008-2009 time period. But there still are some new challenges that funds are finding out that they hadn't really thought of before. Some folks are understanding this, and we're going to talk a little bit about that today. So joining me is Marshall Saffer, COO of MIK Fund Solutions. Marshall, good to see you. Thank you for having me. So as I said, you know, the industry obviously is, is kind of gotten its footing again after a couple of rough years there. Um, but you're seeing some, some challenges that the industry is facing now. I mean, there's part of it, I think, is the new dynamic that's been established between the investors and the fund managers. And, and, and so we're uncovering some things. I wanted if you could tell us a little bit about you know, some of the challenges that funds are facing now, as, as the in, again, as the industry recovers. Well, I think some of the challenges, as you said, has to do with the, the hedge fund industry coming back from where it was mm -hmm. and, and some systemic changes that investors are looking for in okay. terms of if they're going to invest in a fund. Right. Right. So the days of when two guys in a garage could actually start a hedge fund and, and raise some capital, I think, are, are, if not gone, at least much more challenging than they used to be. Okay. Uh, so what I think we're seeing is more of a maturation. An evolution, whether it be from how the hedge funds operate from a business premise, in terms of how they're differentiating themselves, mm -hmm. all the way down to the infrastructure itself, in terms of what's required to support additional regulatory requirements as right. well as investor requirements. Okay, so, so if things are changing on that side, and certainly reg regulatory issues are, are huge, yep. um, what are are there new challenges that have sort of um, un un unveiled themselves or have, have shown up as a result of some of these other changes? Well, I think with the downturn, a lot of hedge funds had to re-examine how they ran their businesses. Okay. Right? There was a, a shift from doing things themselves to potentially outsourcing because they had to reduce the cost basis for essentially running the business. Right? With that, and with the business coming back, they're now having to address these changes, mm -hmm. potentially with less staff. Okay. They need to put new systems in place. So there's, it's a changing paradigm in terms of how they need to approach the business to be successful. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yes. uh, and I mean, as, as part of the, this changing paradigm, as you, as you say, um, you know, there are, are more demands on you know, the fund managers for um, you know, risk controls, and there's whole, the whole compliance component, and obviously they've got the trading component as well. Mm -hmm. um, so if you look at, at sort of the overall business, um, are there, I mean, what are the, um, what are the issues they're facing? Are things easy for them to, you know, pull this report and, and get this to their investors or get this to, you know, a regulator? As again, as these demands continue to ramp up, because it's great that business is improving, but there's kind of the the, the nuts and bolts that need to work in conjunction with that. I mean, are there issues sure. that they're facing? I, I think they are. I, I think traditionally you've got various systems in the hedge fund world that are good for certain aspects of their business. You've mm -hmm. got trading systems, which are for trading, and accounting for accounting. Right. You've got risk, which is calculating VAR and, and various other stress tests. Yep. But the issue is that from a business standpoint, they have to bring all those data sets together, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's, as you said, running compliance, or whether it's running risk reports, yeah. or whether it's providing investor reporting. Okay. So it, it's a change to now that they actually need an aggregated data set that's reflecting all those disparate sources and translating the data sets okay. to meaningful information for whether, uh, for each constituent that requires the data set, whether it be the portfolio manager, the regulators, the institutional investor. Okay. Now, is there, um, is there a solution? Are there solutions? And I, you know, I hate to use that word almost, but you know, are there ways for them to, to manage that and to get, those, get that translated? I mean, and I would think that some managers probably understand that this has been an issue in the past, but others probably coming into the business right. maybe not as familiar with it. Right. But what, what can they do when they're faced with this problem? Well, I, I think there are solutions out there. I think if they, they do their due diligence and, and look, there are providers that I think that can assist and have some best practices for, okay. for adjusting these changes, right. as well as providing uh, solution sets. Uh, the one thing that we are finding is that there's no silver bullet mm -hmm. for what has to be achieved because okay. This gray area that, that we were discussing kind of varies from firm sure, to firm, right? Sure. So creating a product, so to say, that can meet the needs of each firm and have all those assumptions built into the platform or the software itself is very, very challenging. Okay. So I, I think you, you need to find a partner to work with right. and someone that, that you can work well with. Mm -hmm. So there are solutions, as you say, out there. Um, is this a, a problem that changes based on the nature of, say, the assets under management of a firm? Or, 
Is this something that the larger hedge funds are facing more than the smaller ones, or is that part of the dynamic or not so much? No, I, I think it is. I, I think, think the, the biggest, biggest challenge, like if you were to take it at a very high level, yeah. it's, it's the challenge of marrying the investment thesis of a given firm mm -hmm. to the underlying data sets, right? Okay. It's the translation of all that data right. into how the firm wants to utilize the data, uh, manipulate the data, and act on the data set that fits into their, their investment philosophy. Okay. And, and, that's, and that's something that not only for the hedge fund business, but traditional money managers face the same issue. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Very good. Okay, well, I think we'll leave it there, but that's uh, interesting and, and some good information. So I appreciate your time, Marshall. So again, you know, hedge funds, as they continue to kind of recover from the rough couple of years there, there are some issues around data, data management, and translating these disparate pieces uh, to make sense and, and help, help you get your work done easier and more efficiently. So uh, thanks for joining us. My name is Greg Crawford. I'm the editor of Tab Forum, joined by Marshall Saffer, COO of MIK Fund Solutions. Thanks. Thank you.